there has been a new Strakin Yarakovic rumors, a uh, rumor that has been out for about a day now that Valencia is interested in the uh, Red Star center back. Come January, they want to see what his price range is like and um, looks like they're willing to uh, make an offer. So let's rewind back a little bit. Uh, Zenit St. Petersburg from Russia offered 6 million plus 50% of next sale, which is usually, it's kind of weird. You usually don't hear 50% of next sale. It's usually anywhere from 10 to about 30, 35. Uh, but they're willing to um, offer 6 million and 50% of next sale, which was rejected by Red Star. Uh, then they offered 8 million, which again was rejected. So it's interesting to see kind of what Valencia uh, would offer for Sakin Yarakovic. Valencia is currently 10th in La Liga, so exactly middle of the table. Uh, they concede a little bit less than a goal a game, I believe. And they don't score too many either, so there's kind of that. So the interesting thing is I kind of had a look at the roster of Valencia, and if, if they were to purchase Sakin Yarakovic, he would be their second uh, most expensive center back. So they don't really have players in that... I don't want to say high quality range, but they don't really have expensive players in the back line, specifically center back. Uh, everyone is around a million to two and they have one center back who is around eight. So he, right, at, right away, he would come in and be one of their most expensive uh, defensive players on this team. And he can also play right back. He would be the second most expensive right back on their team. So you kind of have that with Sakinyu who could play multiple positions. I love watching him as a center back. Like I don't mind him as a, as a right back, but I, full, I think that we as a club Red Star need to develop him as a center back. And a lot of this is kind of our own problem here because of just not having a right back that's that's uh, ready to go out there and compete. And and we sold two in the summer and we just haven't been, been able to fill that void on the team, which was the reason why we brought back uh, Marko Gobelic. So that's kind of the rumor. Now, the, the thing that Red Star isn't too sure about if they want to let him go now in the winter or if they want to win in the summer where it could maybe be a little bit easier to sell him. His current contract runs until 2026. Uh, which he signed not too long ago. Um, so there's that as well. So he had, a, I believe, it was a two-year contract extension. He was until 2024, so now it's 2026, which, again, uh, you know, you could sell him for a larger amount of, of money. And like I said, he can play two positions in the center back and the right back. He's fairly fast for, for a center back. He's a little bit lanky, um, so he needs to work a little bit on his physical play. But in terms of, like, how old he is, I think he's 20, 21, um, he's really risen through the ranks and Stankovic kind of had to throw him into the fire because we didn't have any bonus players in the Serbian league. So, um, the domestic league, I should say. So he kind of had to be that guy that was, uh, 21 or under who, you know, you have to play during uh, every point in the match. So, you know, he kind of got thrust in the starting lineup and who better to learn from than guys like Dragovic, guys like Milunovic. So he's developed very well. Now, the thing is, there have been some rumors about Uder Spajic returning to Red Star, which could mean the end, of, uh, the end of either Alexander Dragovic or Stakin Irakovic. I really hope that we can keep both Irakovic and Dragovic. Now, while that would mean for Urosh Spajic, I really don't know, but you're not going to carry five center backs, so someone would have to leave if Urosh uh, Spajic does sign with Red Star. I would keep him until the end of the season and then evaluate at the conclusion in June prior to you know, qualifying. If we finish first, we don't have to qualify for Champions League. But ahead of the qualifying season and ahead of the start of the, the next season, you kind of evaluate who you want to who you want to sell. I'm just worried that the summertime is going to come and we're going to have to sell both Irakovic and Dragovic. And then we're going to bring in a new center back tandem and that we're going to have to work in. And that's a headache. And you don't want to do that, especially if you're already in the Champions League. You want you already kind of want that worked in as you were in the Champions League. So I wouldn't I wouldn't sell both guys, but you know, that's not up to me at all. Um so yeah, I would I would prefer if Adakovic would stay until the summer. Also staying in the summer, maybe his price rises even a little bit more. You never know. Um I'd love if he could stay here for you know the rest of his career, but that's not gonna happen. He's he's one of the better center backs, young center backs that um Serbia does have. And I'm disappointed that he just didn't even get to feature at the World Cup. I think that the guys who played ahead of him uh, Sajan Babic and Stefan Mitrovic, nothing against them, but I don't think they're much better than, than Stakin Yarakovic. I think the only thing was kind of like, you know, he's he's a little bit too young in, in these pressure situations, so we're going to go with the guys who are a little bit older, who are a little bit more experienced, which I completely understand as well. But it would have been nice in a perfect world if he had at least 10, 
15, 20 minutes at the World Cup at some point. So yeah, the latest rumor, Stakin Yarakovic to Valencia. We'll see what happens. No, no formal uh, bid has been made, but that's the uh, rumor as of uh, yesterday. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, what do you guys think of Stakin Yarakovic? What do you think about him going um, to Valencia? Again, it's a it's the top five league, right? And if he's guaranteed playing time, which sometimes wouldn't be the case, I would love to see him over there.